All right, so here's a little uh, post wheel falling off Raptor 700 update. Uh, you guys might have seen the last video, but uh... ah! Noah! <laughs> okay, so I was just riding along and they stopped and I wondered why and this is what I came back to. So I guess the axle nut came loose and the wheel flew off and then went down there to where those quads are at and off the cliff. The nut came off while we were out riding. I guess the cotter pin sheared and that nut wiggled loose. I'm not sure if it's because this hub, you know, the splines are a little worn out um, even though I had just replaced this hub, it's, it's a used one that was better than my old one. But anyhow, uh, that came off, and I'm glad nobody got hurt. Glad Twinkles didn't wreck. Glad I didn't get hit with the wheel. Um, so we couldn't find the nut when we were out there. Crazy D did find the washer. So I got that back on there now. And then I found this washer in my stuff because I'm kind of a Yamaha parts hoarder. Uh, I found that just on an old bent axle that my buddy Randy had bent when he came up short. He was riding my 450 um, one day on his private track up there and he came up a little short and I think that might have been when it happened. But anyhow, that's when I put the tusk, tusk axle on. So now you can see, if you look, let's see if I can get this thing to focus. There we go. You can see right there, this axle has a pretty good little ground down spot at the end there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the nut on there without screwing it all up. So we'll see. I might take a flat file and just try and fix those threads on the end there to see if I can, you know, save this axle. 